Hey guys, I know it's been a while since we posted our last video, but as you can see from the title, today we're going to be talking all about how to set up for a garage sale. advertising signs to jump right in Dollar Tree carries these yard sale and garage sale signs I don't recommend them if you're going to be putting them in the ground in the past we have used them and all the ones we did try to stake in the plastic stake broke on us so unless you're going to be using them on a pole to tack or nail in um, I don't recommend these we recommend using these larger neon signs that you can get from Walmart um, the metal stakes on both sides make it really easy to put in the ground and they hold up really well with the weather. So when we price some of our larger items, we like to use this bright neon poster paper from Dollar Tree, then cut out little pieces and then use a sharpie to write the amount on there. And then we use Dollar Tree's painter's tape to just tape it right onto the item. That way, rather than using duct tape, this doesn't take off any paint or plastic on the items that you're trying to sell. Dollar Tree also carries this neon poster paper in fun different shapes that I like to use for the garage sale when I am kind of displaying what the different categories are so it's easier for people to find what they're looking for. So at your checkout table, you're going to want to have a tablet and pen so you can keep track of the inventory and amounts of the items that you're selling. For pricing our smaller items and clothes, we use these stickers from Dollar Tree. Another thing you're going to want at your checkout table is a cash box of some sort just so that you can keep your money organized. And what we do is we do the dollar bills and then for all of our other pricing we either have it for 25 cents 50 cents or 75 cents that way we're not dealing with nickels dimes and pennies and this just makes everything so much easier when it comes to counting and before you start your sale just as a tip just remember to have handy some smaller bills like ones and fives that way you have change for when people offer you ten dollar bills and twenty dollar bills and then also just keep some quarters on hand as well so that way you have enough change for people and then lastly we have plastic bags for people who want their items packaged up and we also have newspaper for wrapping our glassware so when we're organizing our outdoor stuff, we just kind of line everything up by category. So here we have a lot of like the guy stuff, small engines, and then as you can see those bright neon colors really stand out for the pricing. So we really like using the bright neon stickers because it just pops out in color and it makes it really easy for people to see. And then here we just have another row of another category where we put our um, desks, lamps, chairs, things like that, that kind of go together. And then over here on another row we have our baby stuff and kids items. And then the larger miscellaneous stuff we just put on the end. So what's really nice is my husband and I take team on the different items. He takes care of all the outdoor stuff and the guys tools and then I take care of all the clothes which is my favorite part because I like to organize and I kind of do everything by color as you can see by the pictures here. And then I just keep everything at 50 cents unless otherwise marked. So if things are more high end, um, I'll just put a tag on it so it's separate. And then I have a section for dresses and then jackets and coats. And then everything on the round rack is like extra small, too large. And then I also have a section for women's plus sizes and then the men's clothes. And then again, I keep that at 50 cents unless otherwise marked. So it just keeps things super easy. 
and actually the plus sizes in men's clothes are mostly a dollar. So moving on into the garage, you're going to need several tables lined up and then we just hang some of our items for a better display and then I kind of organize the different sections by the different categories that we have. And then as I showed you earlier in the video, I put up these bright neon signs um, from Dollar Tree so that way people know kind of what's in that area if they're looking for something specific. So the main thing I would say is to have everything organized and displayed really well so that people can see um, where the different items are and then the more that you label and um, price things it's going to be so much easier for people to find and then also just make sure your walkways are large enough for people to easily walk through without breaking anything on the sides and then lastly we have a radio in the background just playing music this kind of makes the day go by faster for us and we find it more pleasant for the customers as they're shopping Thank you guys for sticking around for this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any tips or recommendations on how you set up for your garage sale, please leave us a comment below and I would love to hear about it. Thank you guys for watching again and we'll see you in the next video.